hi, I'm Lou, and this is my grandson, and we just invented this toy we're calling Timbuk Tubes. Ball. Ball. To make your own set of Timbuk Tubes, you'll need 10 feet of inch and a half PVC pipe, two bags of 10 each of inch and a half PVC couplings, two bags of 10 each of PVC elbows, inch and a half. You do want to get them in the bags because if you don't, they have these barcodes on them and these don't. Some PVC cement, a foosball, and some colored electrical tape. You'll also need a two foot by two foot piece of quarter inch thick Luon or MDF. Check the inside edges of all your elbows. They should be nice and smooth like this. I found that on almost all of them, one side has a rough inside edge. All you have to do is take a knife and slide in like this and cut all the way around. Cleaning the scrap out of the inside edge makes sure that the ball won't get stuck there. Cut your 10 foot pipe in half into two 5 foot sections. Slice one section in half with a table saw. Cut both these half pipes into 11 inch sections. Sand the edges down a little bit so they're not sharp. Wipe a little PVC cement on the last three quarter inches or so of each end of these pipes and then put the coupler on like this. Squeeze it and hold it in place for about 10 seconds while it dries. Look along the outside edges of these connectors. Occasionally you'll find one like this that's rough. Just take a knife and cut that piece off. You can decorate these with colored electrical tape. Cut 20 pieces of tubing exactly one and three quarter inches long. Find the side with the label if there is one and face it towards your blade and cut through just one side of the tube. Let's take a look at our connectors. If you don't put a slit in the side and you try to put these things together, they're extremely tight and no kid could ever take these apart. With a slit, they're actually too loose. They go together nicely, but they just fall apart. So you put a piece of electrical tape over the slit and then one on the back side like this. It makes it a little more colorful and it's just about perfect. It's nice and easy to put in, but yet it doesn't fall apart. Cut your quarter inch panel into roughly four inch wide strips. Now we're gonna make some marks on the strip. They need to be centered this way. And going this way, the first one needs to be at two inches, then at every five and a half inches after that. So the next one would be at seven and a half, the next one would be at 13, and so on. Drill two inch diameter holes at each of these marks. Now we'll cut through the strip at each hole's center line. The stands are used to prop the tubes up like this. The completed set has a foosball, eight stands, 20 connectors, 10 tubes, and 20 elbows. If you're adventurous, there's a lot of other parts you can buy at the hardware store. You'll find you learn a lot about gravity and physics when you play with Timbuk tubes. Here are a few of the many combinations you can build. Thanks for watching and good luck making your Timbuk tubes. Say bye bye.